Hey, what's up guys? This is Margaritis and today I'm gonna teach you what's the first step you need to do when you buy a junkyard engine and you want to L less swap it in any vehicle or if you want to just swap it in an original car. So the steps it's two. And in order to find out if the engine is good, we care about compression and if it's the bearing is good. So first thing first you need to do is a compression test and crack open the oil filter and see if they have metals inside. If they have metals inside, that means the bearings or something inside it's ruining and have problem. So we need to check that. We need one tool to cut open the oil filter or you can open it with the traditional way, I don't know, with a knife or with a laser blade. You can find out your way to do it, but just be careful because it's very cutting and you can cut yourself. Um, I have a tool and I'm gonna show you how to open it with a tool and uh, we're gonna do that step by step together and when we finish that um, we're gonna strip out all that engine and uh, this is how it looked like before and this is how it's gonna look after and then um, yeah let's jump on it we're gonna press washer the whole thing we're gonna do some upgrades on the engine and uh, we're gonna make it exactly like the other one because we want to have two identical engines for one very big project we're gonna do very soon and i'm super excited to tell you about all of it and walk together on this new journey it's coming in 2023 stay tuned here we go uh, we're ready to cut open the filter and uh, like i tell you i have a tool this tool is not so expensive I think this one was about 100 bucks, but they have cheapers with 50 bucks or something. And um, uh, is a annual, annual. It's not annual. It's every oil change check I do in all my engines. Uh, when I change the oil filter and the oil, like every race, I cut open the filter and check it. The way this tool work is going like that. And if you see here, he's cutting the filter. So um, you can put it down and do it like that by hand. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Or you can, if you have a vise, you can put it on the vise and try to go all the way down on the spot you cannot strip and I'm put it on top and start turning. That way um, I'm cutting open the filter. So I'm going like that and I'm start to turn it that way and as soon as I turn it pushing down here and I turn it and I screw it and I turn it and I screw it and that's the way I cut open the filter and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing after that Boom. So easy. You don't need this piece. You throw this one. You throw this one. And what I'm usually doing when I lift it up, I go like that and I leave it like that sideways. So all the oil drip out. Sorry, drip in. Uh, of course, some of them is going out, but I have the, I have always some box or something down here, so all the oil going down, and simply, after that happen, I'm cleaning it up it like that. Okay, Put some more oil inside. Turn it to the other side. Let's drain. Now we're ready to go on the next step. Try to don't have any tau or anything with metals. So what we can see, it's what it really is. It's two ways you can do it. You get on a laser blade and I usually find they have a metal spot. I usually go on the metal spot and try to cut the filter like that. If you are lucky and have one of these, 
that makes your life easier. So I'm going on the lower side and cut it out, the filter. I have to do that process on both sides. It's better to have a little bit of patience to do that right because you don't want to cut yourself. So I just close the whole thing. Now I'm going to the other side. After that, I'm gonna go and cross side to side. And where was the place? That was the place. And now I cut it side to side. I'm gonna cut it all the way. It's not. And now is the moment you go like that. And you take out the whole filter. And now is the moment you go in and open the whole filter. I usually cut it here in the middle. And I'm going here, open it out. This thing have a lot of shit inside, a lot of dirt, but it's not look like it's a metal, but one way to figure it out it's a magnet, you go with your magnet and you see if you magnetize them, they are not. No. So, these ones can be just dirt, but can be metal. For me, it looks like carbonate. Carbonate can come for the um, index, for the heads, and can fall down so I don't worry about it because I'm gonna change the heads on this engine when you see that so much carbonate on the filter what you need to do is do the compression test but don't pay so much attention because the carbonate can go on the valve seats if it's that happen your leak down it's not gonna be so good so don't be disappointed because you can put some cleaning stuff on your gas uh, and um, when you do that, they're gonna clean it up the carbonate. That's gonna take a long time probably, but if you don't wanna take apart the heads and you don't wanna want, you don't want to spend money, uh, that's one way. Um, but I'm telling you, if you spend a little bit time and a little bit money, you can change your heads and upgrade them, put something better in your engine, make more power and don't worry once for all about the valves and the seats and how clean they are and all that carbonate. So this filter is good. We go on the next step. The next step is to do compression test. How we're gonna do compression test is we need to remove all the spark plugs. We need all the spark plugs to be open. And uh, I'm gonna show you the tool and we're gonna go for, the, for it and uh, do compression test. The flywheel needs to stay in the, car, in the engine. So when we have the flywheel in the engine, we can turn the engine um, with the flywheel with the starter. Compressor test, it's one kit, you need it. And then um, it's something between 30 to 50 bucks. You screw this side in where is the spark plug going. You put this one on. And you check in the compression here. You need to do five turns the engine. So make sure you're gonna do that. And after you press her out and you see where is the compression. Okay, so I bring one of my cards. I have the positive here, the negative here. I put the negative on uh, the car. 
I get out the belt so this one cannot turn, nothing can turn except the um, damper and this guy over here with the starter. In order to turn the engine, you need a positive, you're gonna find for this side on the 13, and you need this small eight millimeter. This is the clicking out. So that way, this gear, it's jumping out and make the engine turn. Like I tell, um, we, we screw this one in and we are on zero. We leave this one up here, this guy. And let me try to make it happen. It's a little bit extra difficult to make the video and make all of that. So I'm going here and get the power. And I give first, first power and after the click. Okay, so we see the cylinder number eight, you have Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the numbers. That's the cylinders, and that's the cylinder order, one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. So if you see this one, the 125, it's too high. Uh, that's, that's the perfect number. So for some way, these valves, they close all the way, but we have compression everywhere. And what I say before, the rings, it's good. The heads, they have carbonate and it's very old engine. You have 150,000 miles for the junkyard. That's a long uh, miles and probably they don't put the nice gas and probably they're going 2,000, 3,000 RPM. And that's mean that's number, that's why it is like that. But this engine is good. They have compression, right? So the ring is good. The pistons, they are good. Of course, I'm gonna take out the heads and I'm gonna change the heads. But if you throw this engine in your car, it's gonna make power and it's gonna work in okay. So you don't have problem with those numbers. If you see a number here to be 100, this cylinder need to check. You need to check if the valve is bad or the rings is bad, okay? So this is a good Zangard engine and we're gonna move from here. Okay, friends, next thing we need to do is we're gonna put the engine in an engine stand and uh, we're gonna clean it up everything, get this car back and Press with water and have some fun. Make it clean and nice, ready to pull out the heads and clean up everything, okay? <laughs> 